What's up guys, my name is Ashley and welcome back to, to this channel and welcome to a brand new series on this channel which is Exploring Haunted Places. So welcome to episode 1 which is Exploring Haunted Chislehurst Caves. Chislehurst Caves are a series of intersecting man-made tunnels and caverns covering some 22 miles which is 35 kilometres in Chislehurst in South East London, England. From the mid 13th to early 19th centuries the caves were created from the mining of flint and lime burning chalk. Today the caves are a tourist attraction and although they are called caves they are, and they are entirely man-made and were dug and used as chalk and flint mines. The earliest re recorded mention of the mines and lime burning kilns above dates 9th century Saxon charter and then not again until around 1232 AD. During World War I the caves were used as ammunition storage dump associated with the Royal Arsenal at Woolwich. In the 1930s, the tunnels were used for mushroom cultivation. When the aerial bombardment, bombardment of London began in September 1914, World War II, the caves were used as an air raid shelter. Soon they, become an, they became an underground city, rising off some 15,000 inhabitants who each paid a penny to enter. The, to enter. The tunnels were fitted with electric, with electric lighting, toilets, washing facilities and a chapel was built and also a hostel. The caves were located close to Chislehurst railway station and many people arrived there to then enter the shelter. Shortly after VE day the shelter was officially closed. There has been only one child born in the caves, christened in the cave chapel with the unfortunate name of Kavner Wakeman who endured the name until she turned 18 when she legally changed her first name to Rose and using Kavner as her middle name. Why that door open? Get it, I'm not fishing. They're very small in here now. Very small indeed. Be careful with that hook because it's funny on the floor. See the fence in the wall. That, that, that goes in, that, that's another bit of the cane. Another bit of the cane. My, my voice sounds really loud. The microphone's right here. Yeah, the loud microphone. I think all these pieces need, need to know where. 
Yeah, yeah, they're, 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 they're not allowed to be annoyed. Well, I think they'd need to know it unless they're all parts of the team.
Yeah, the green lady is the ghost. Picture of life and death by Bob the Old. In the centre we have Udrasil, entwined with the tentacle. Yeah, Udrasil being the old world symbol for life. Uh, it's entwining the tentacle uh, makes it into the new world symbol for life, the DNA. It's not the Lenten Sinclair anymore. Okay? Now it's probably not Spider-Man. Yeah? Uh, but Sandy's yet to be on my tour to correct me, and I really like Spider Man, so it's Spider Man. There's dragons and monsters. It looks like Spider Man. Yeah, that looks good. Spider Man is up in this house. 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 Spider Man I am the one. Number two, 
two, we look up and around, we notice that there are no alphanumeric markings in the session. Which means in the time of national emergency, the management side of the non Number three, we notice this pond is actually a lot deeper than it is and has been filled in. Now this was for the safety of the kids who so were running around here, they were running around these tunnels like they were running around streets upstairs when this was a town ground. Um, and uh, when we did, uh, we found a corpse. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Immediately more dramatic sounds, corpse stories. Yeah. So we sent off to the British Museum to see what sort of um, uh, to see what sort of facts could be found out. Um, uh, and they found out that number one, um, uh, the, the time of death was sometime in the 1700s. Number two, when she died, she was pregnant. And number three, the cause of death was the rapid application of a large sharp rock to the back of the house. Now, the legend that was attached to the kids of time was that, that some lucky young damsel had found a man who had been sitting with a cavalier and that through a lot of stuff they found themselves in fact. Something which nowadays is a lot more tolerated than it was then. You see, they decided that in this circumstance it would be best for them to meet down here in Trist and be find a vicar. So that they could be married and they would wait to a place where they were not known and they could live out their life as a family without persecution. Now, it's almost in. Okay. Um, when she arrived down here, dressed in the arm of another, she found that man. Turned out to be less of a cavalier, more of a rogue. He dealt with his own problems and his own way, left her floating face down in this pond. <coughs> Some people talk about a woman that proceeds from the back of the pool. Anyone brave enough to enter by the time. Some people talk about a hand that reaches from the head to anyone standing on the jetty. I can understand. That's when I heard you screaming. That's why I was like, oh, oh here we go. Uh, this is happening eventually. <laughs> Stand the water. Get off.